What's up, everybody? This is Prince Kanai. This is a Tribe Called 13. Thank you for taking the time out to view this video. So listen, I do not know exactly what this video is going to be about. The reason why this video is recording right now is because I am trying to get in the habit of just doing daily videos or just making, you know, content. But I also want to make sure that, you know, what I'm putting out is going to be definitely worthwhile. It holds value and it's going to be definitely worth your time. So yeah, actually I'm just going to go ahead and do a book review, okay? Now, let me see if I can... Perfect book. Just hold on for a moment. I would like to talk about this specific author. She helped me out at a time when I was pretty young and I was going through a very dark moment in my life. Pretty dark. Um, I did not get a chance to meet her because at one point I was very stubborn about meeting her. But however, you know, I felt that, you know, because of the fact that she was author, she was an author, I felt like she was, you know, big time. I felt like, you know, why would she, you know, why would she want to have anything to say to me, you know? Because I, I guess I had this thing in my mind that most authors don't have time to have, like, one-on-ones with people. I guess it also came, probably came with, you know, either being a popular or famous author or whatever the case may be. That was a, a messed up, a very fucked up belief to have, and I regret even having this belief because... I got to know who this woman was. Now, there would be times when I was young, I remember, like, my mama always would tell me, like, yo, just read this book, just read this book, just read this book. I'm like, what book are you, what, what book is this? Like, at that time, like, the only book I ever read, because it was sort of like a, like a pressure, because the only book I ever read, because it caught my, <laughs> caught my attention, was this book by, um, by Zane. What was the name of that book? It was the same book. The, the title will come back to me later on when I'm probably not even thinking about it. So, she's, so you know, my mom was like, told me like, I don't care what it is that you read, as long as you read something. Like, I don't care what it is. So I guess that's why I, I just had to read Zane. I didn't know what Zane was. I just know that the cover of it was very provocative. I'm like, whoa, what kind of, what kind of shit is this? So I read it, I'm like, yo, my, Mind blown. I'm like, wow, this is some freak shit right here. What the hell is this? Anyway, so after that, she said, you know, I'm, you know, I'm glad you read. You know, despite that, that's not the book I would have chose for you to read. But you should go ahead and just like broaden your horizons. You know, try to read something different. So I'm like, all right, okay. So you know what? Whatever you know, I, I'll give it a try. So what do you want me to read? First day she put in that book in my hand, Minion by L.A. Banks. When I read that book, it changed me. I became a reader. I became very curious. It opened the side of me that was unknown to me. I didn't know that you know, that people wrote about things that I sort of had a little slight imagination about because I love sci-fi. I used to watch Stargate, um, what other show? Stargate and Stargate. I was a big Stargate fan, okay? I'm just putting it that way. So, when I read Minion, it seemed like it was a mixture of urban, spirituality, and science fiction. Reading it, reading it, reading it. And at the time, very young, I smoked a lot of weed. So I read this while I was high. So my, it's like, I was, whatever I was reading, it's like that shit was like 4K in the theater of my mind. It's like everything was just so crystal clear. I could see every single aspect of what was taking place as I was reading these pages. So I read Minion. So after I read Minion, I'm like, wow. I said, Ma, does she have another book? She said, yes, son. And then she pointed me to book two called The Awakening. 
Then after the awakening came the minion. And after the minion, it just kept going on and on and on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the the book, uh, her series was the 12 book series. It was um, the Vampire Hunter series. It was a Vampire Hunter series, okay? She was so fucking awesome. Her writing was so awesome. I believe, honestly, you know, no offense, because, you know, I know people work hard to put their material out and, you know, to get their stuff on TV. But to be honest with you, L.A. Banks was supposed to have her stuff on HBO. Instead of True Blood, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be her Vampire Hunter series. I'm going to just say it like that. Straight like, straight like that. So, I remember my mom, she was, out, she was going back and forth with her through emails. They were talking. My mom would go to her book signings and things like that. And at the time, I'm young. I'm reading her books and, you know, I'm smoking my weed. I'm still living my lifestyle. So, I, I really never took the time to go to her book signings. But I really appreciated her art. But I got... She even still took the time to reach out to me. Still, like she wrote me, she, like she hand wrote me letters. This this woman hand wrote me letters, like. And then not too long ago, about a while ago, actually, I I can't really quote the year right now. Don't mind me, but she had passed away, man. And that hurt. That hurt because of the fact that I never got a chance to meet her and. It was just, it was a very, 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 very bad time, man. It's like, wow. And she was coming out with so many other books. She had a, she had a werewolf series, the Vampire Hunter series. The Vampire Hunter series had a spinoff with the children, the children that were, that were, that were born from the Vampire Hunter and the Huntress. Like, it was a crazy spinoff. And she came out with that one book. She came out the first book for the children's series of, you know, the, the, the child of, Damali and Carlos. I'm talking about the main characters in this book. Listen to me. You gotta read that. You gotta read her series. This is how serious it is. It's just it's. If you ever get time to read or anything, like, take this as a high recommendation. Her stuff needs to be read. Her stuff needs to be read. Seriously. My mom. Like I told you, was helping her out a lot. She actually shot at her out because she helped her write. Well, she didn't help her write, like telling her, oh, you should do this, or you should do this. She gave her an idea of what to write about for her very last book in the Vampire Hunter series. The book is called The 13th. I find this a little symbolic because of the fact that I was born on May 13th. It's actually a 12th book, but it's not the 13th book, but it's called The 13th. It's a book that I need to reread again. Okay. And that book, spoiler alert, okay? I'm just a little spoiler alert. But they go in and start talking about the Atlanteans. My mom gave her the idea of talking about the Atlanteans. And she learned how to tie the whole world of, you know, not really the whole world of Atlantis, but different aspects of, 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 of Atlantis into the Vampire Hunter series, into spirituality and religion. Crazy crazy but the book despite that it's a religious book it's like it's so like egyptian based it's egyptian based it's like she's, she's talking about things of egypt she's talking about religion she's talking about vampires she's talking about people from the hood this shit is deep like you get a chance and you see this video if you've seen this video you think it's worthwhile please not only do you like but you share this video for people who are readers you share this video You share this video, and you also make sure you subscribe to this channel because anything that's fire, anything that's good, I'm going to give you my review about it, and I'm going to let you know, listen, this is a banger. This is a blockbuster. You need to read her series, point blank. I can't emphasize it anymore. Yeah. So again, this is Prince Konai. The tribe called 13. Because of this woman, oh yeah, just throw this out there real quick. Because of this woman, she's the reason why I'm writing today. Thank you, enjoy the rest of your day.